People, I have Destiny 2 complete collection codes to give away. To win one, make sure you are subbed to the channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. I'm going to pick people at random and send them codes. Good luck everybody. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we discuss glitches, cheeses, challenges and much more now if you guys do enjoy the video and would like to show your support head button that like button truly helps me out and if you are new around here be sure to subscribe for daily destiny videos and if you never want to miss a video i upload hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to get notifications when i upload a video people okay so over the past few days glitches and cheeses have been found and exploited for our real we are yet to hear Bungie's response to all of this, but I'm guessing they are working on things to fix the issue of people being able to skip all rounds to the blind well and glitch into the raid a full five days early and get a hidden chest which rewards you raid loot. Like what? Yep, craziness people, absolutely craziness. So let's start with the blind well. It has been broken. A single cheese found allows you to basically skip all rounds and head straight to the final boss. Now what doesn't surprise me here is people have found this cheese. What does surprise me is how this cheese works. It's actually quite bizarre when you think about it. So basically all you need is the Telesto. And as you know how the blind well works, you have to charge the well by defeating enemies and charging the well. This is where shit gets a little crazy. Using the Telesto to shoot the well inside of the bloody bubble thingy bub somehow deposits it light and this means you can basically skip the entire process of defending the well and fighting off enemies. So somehow the game thinks uh, Telesto shots are light deposits. I mean I can't wrap my brain around it. Is there a simple explanation I'm missing out on? Be sure to let me know down below in that comments section because I feel like a noob right here. It's just craziness. But you'll see this work on screen now and it makes things super easy when you need to farm them seeds of light and whatever else you need to. Okay so let's move on and well another exploit people have found and using is a glitch which allows you to get into the raid early and get a secret hidden chest which allows you to obtain new raid gear. Now this is an exploit I refuse to cover on my channel due to not wanting to be banned but I actually recall Bungie stating that if we find glitches feel free to exploit them. I may have been dreaming at that time but hey also the fact half the community have used this, I doubt they will ban all of us people, it just ain't gonna happen. The raid chest was dropping some amazing loot, seen on screen now, and they do look absolutely incredible. Also returning are the Queen's old school D1 weapons, good to know. The Supremacy has returned as well as I believe every other Queen weapon. The one I most want in my life is the Queen's Lethal Nobacy, which is the Scout Rifle. I need that guys, my pal got it but had a shitty roll on it, but I'd even take that at this point for sure. Earlier today, people, I also covered another glitch which was found, which basically allowed you to farm unlimited raid loot. Now, this was just bizarre. Now, how it worked was basically you had to delete one of your characters. So, if you mained a titan, you would delete a warlock or hunter or create a new character if you had the space spare. And you create another titan. So your main titan, then you create a new titan. On this new titan, you'd load it into the first mission. Then you'd switch back to your main titan and grab this chest again. Even if you'd already grabbed it, you can grab it again. Then you'll go back to your new titan, delete that, create a new titan again, load into the first mission, switch back to your main titan, go to the red chest, grab it again. For some reason, the game thought that your main titan is this new titan you've just created and allows you to constantly farm this chest and it has allowed people to get all the red loot already from this single chest. On screen now you can see a fully geared up warlock and a fully geared up titan. Absolutely ridiculous people. Now I covered this glitch in a video I posted earlier if you want to check it out you can. But I have actual updates on this from Bungie and also the Blind Well and the Prime Engram Farm and so forth. So I'll read through the latest rapid response to known issues they just posted which I'll link in the video description also if you do want to check it out. Over the weekend, as we monitored your progress in Destiny 2 Forsaken and grinded ourselves, some new issues came to light that require immediate action. In some instances, fixes to the game will require code changes, but there are some immediate server-side actions we can take to safeguard the player experience. Our bar for rapid responses like these is to address issues that impact the economy that makes D2 a game that is engaging over a longer timeline. As we take action, we will not be issuing any bans or restrictions to players who may have benefited from the following. Raid chests. 
players have found their way into raid spaces and claimed gear from bonus chests. Those chests are not being suppressed until we can properly isolate them to raid activities. None of the rewards they have granted will be rescinded. Prime engrams. An exploit was discovered this weekend where players could earn prime engrams at a rapid pace using the prime attunement buff. At this time, prime engrams are designed to grant small power gains over time. Acquiring a large amount of prime engrams in a short time frame reduces the frequency in which you earn prime engrams as you continue to play the game. Some players who have used this exploit heavily may find that prime engrams will not appear for the next two to three weeks. As such, this will provide a very small short term gain for those using this exploit but have negative long-term effects for a player's power progression. We are investigating a fix for this exploit. In the meantime, we highly recommend that players do not use this exploit. Players who are earning prime engrams while playing through the game naturally will not be impacted by this issue in any form. And they also go on to talk about the weekly challenge reset and the issues many many people are having. Weekly Gambit, Crucible and Heroic Story challenges were impacted over the weekend by an unforeseen milestone reset. Players who completed challenges after the full T reset on Saturday were not given powerful rewards and will not receive a proper challenge reset on Tuesday for these activities. We are investigating the cause of the issue and will deploy a fix at our first opportunity. Now this to me is kind of weird. I mean like I actually did most of these because I thought it was just a stand. Because I actually thought they were going to reset things every four days and because it hasn't been clear on what they're resetting and what they ain't resetting, the things that did come up I actually redid and didn't get powerful rewards for them like most of the community. So hopefully they get this fixed before tomorrow, which I doubt is going to happen, but we will see people, we will see. Because if it ain't fixed for tomorrow, the things we did do on Saturday or after this actual midweek reset, we won't get powerful rewards for this following week, which sucks ass. And the last thing they talk about is something I have actually had an issue with myself. Gambit suspension issues. We are currently investigating an issue where players are being suspended in error from Gambit due to disconnections. Until resolved, players may encounter 15 minute suspensions when disconnecting from Gambit matches. We are currently investigating server side changes to matchmaking for this activity to mitigate the issue. And yes, I hope they get this sorted as soon as possible. I really do. But that is what they've just tweeted out. And like I said, if you want to read through all, you can find it linked within the video description, guys. Okay, so we're going to move on and away from glitches and exploits. The other day, I posted a video on a secret Gambit emblem. It was called the Dance the Demons Away. Pretty cool, but to unlock this thing was a mystery. But it turned out, as a fire team, you had to all bank 15 morts at the exact same time. And you will be rewarded the Instinct Triumph, which gives you this emblem. Now, there was another Lock Triumph right next to it associated with Gambit. And at the time, we didn't know how to unlock it. But now I do, it's called Protect the Runner and you as a fire team, you need to win a Gambit match where a single player deposits 100 morts, never losing any. I mean it kind of sounds straightforward and to be honest I don't think it will be that hard. If you work as a fire team I think you'll get this done pretty easy. So yeah, if you were wondering what it was and how it's achieved, well now you know. Also guys, if you have unlocked any other Triumph Secret Challenge, let me know what it is down below within that comment section and let me know how you unlocked it. You can always tweet me at dpjsc08, my Twitter is linked within the video description. But before we end the video guys, every month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning, simply make sure you are subbed to the channel, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description, it's fast, simple and legit guys but on that note we have come to the end of the video thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and i will carry on we never get it right